Hey there, marketing research students and Excel users. In this video, we're going to talk about some basic data preparation and cleaning tasks that we often have to do in, on way to do analysis of marketing survey data. All these examples will be done using Microsoft Excel. As always, we're using the Craftbeard practice data set that we use in these videos. Links are provided to you and available. And the skills that we're going to be covering in this short video series is we're going to address how to deal with missing values that might be in our data set. We'll talk about some basic recoding, uh, creating coarser groupings of variables. We'll talk about creating some composite variables for analysis. And finally, we'll give some examples of how to filter out uh, some of your data if you're engaging in a subgroup analysis. So why are we covering some of these basic skills before we actually get deeper into actual analysis? Well, the reality is you usually do not have a data set presented to you in a way that's immediately ready to conduct the analysis that you want to do. Therefore, you have to have some baseline skills to be able to prepare that data set for your analysis. Most people get stuck here. The data isn't in the format they want, so they don't know how to do the analysis they think they need to. So we have to cover some basic skills. Now, given I don't cover every basic skill that you might need to clean up your data set in here. Um, but these ones do cover a lot of very common ground for uh, marketing researchers. Um, if you're very familiar with Excel, some of the examples that I'm going to be providing here uh, could definitely be done other ways. Um, uh, simple Googling and YouTube searches are going to provide a wide array of videos and website tutorials if there's specific aspects of any of these examples that you need a little more practice with. Lastly, keep in mind everything that we're doing here in Excel are the same kinds of things that you might want to use, uh, might want to do if you're using other statistical software like SPSS, SAS, Stata, and so on. Um, of course, they have their own way of completing those tasks.